welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how I clean my makeup brushes and also my beauty sponges. Cleaning your brushes is the thing that I dread the most um, every time I have to do it. It's the worst, it's a pain in the butt, but it really does need to be done. So if you want to see how I clean my brushes and how often I do that, please keep watching. So ideally, you want to clean your brushes about every two weeks, ideally. Um, I avoid it really at all costs, and sometimes I just will stop using a brush and just pick a different one so I don't have to wash that one. Um, I do have a bunch of beauty sponges, so that's nice because I can kind of like use one for a week and then switch it out for a different one so I don't have to wash them as often. But then when I do wash, I have to wash like four of them. That's okay. So, yes, about every two weeks. Um, in between, if I like use like a bright color, like a blue or something, and I don't want that to be on my brush, um, I use the Elf Daily Brush Cleaner. Um, it's like three dollars. This smells terrible. It smells so strongly like rose water, and I don't know why, but that scent like really bugs me. I don't like that. But for that, I'll just, um, I'll show you. I'll just, like, hold my brush, spray it, and then wipe it off on a paper towel, and then leave it flat to dry for, like, ten minutes, and then it's dry. Oh, that smell. It just really gets to me. So, you can choose to buy a cleaner for your brushes. Um, I just make my own. I find that it's the easiest and it really does get my brushes clean. And these are like ingredients that you're going to have at home. So that shouldn't be a problem. So you're going to need four things, kind of. You're going to need paper towels. Um, you're going to need a plate. And these are the two big ones. You're going to use olive oil. I have like this huge container. Um, I use the extra virgin olive oil, but it really doesn't matter. Whatever kind of olive oil you have sitting at home is fine. And then you also need dish soap. You really want to get antibacterial dish soap because you want to get the bacteria out of your brushes and this is what's going to do it. I didn't have any so I just grabbed this. This is Ajax Super Degreaser whatever, it's just dish soap, they'll be fine. I should be washing my brushes every two weeks anyway, so not a big deal, right? So I like to start with my beauty sponges when I do my washing, and then I move to face brushes and then eye brushes just because that's the easiest order. These are the most pain to clean, and then the eye brushes are so small that it literally takes no time at all. So what you do is I start, I group, so I get all of my makeup sponges together. Um, I do this right next to the sink. I get them all wet, squeeze all the excess water out, put them on a paper towel just so they don't get all over the counter. Um, then on your plate, you're going to have one part dish soap to one part olive oil, so the same amount, just like half the plate should be fine of each. And you're going to want to take your, whatever you're doing, your brush, your sponge, and swirl it in so it gets in both the olive oil and the dish soap. And then you're going to kind of like massage it. I do that part over the sink. And then rinse it out. Rinsing these out takes a while because you kind of got to rinse, squeeze, rinse, squeeze. Sometimes you have to go back into the plate just to make sure there's no stains or anything. This one's pretty stained. I've been using it. Uh, same thing with the brushes mix it in then for these what you do is kind of hold your hand and mix them like that so it'll get all over your hand but you can rinse it off and that's a good way to get the olive oil and soap into the brush so that's what's going to clean it and then rinse it off make sure you don't get any water in this part of the brush because that's what's going to destroy the glue on your brush and try not to get it up here too much too and when you destroy the glue on your brushes, they don't last as long. And then, for example, I have this brush where something happened there, and now all these bristles are coming out, and I hate this brush now, and I don't use it. So, don't get it in that part of the brush because you will ruin so it. So, once you have cleaned and rinsed your brushes out completely for drying, 
The easiest way is to have it at an angle so that the water is dripping down this way and that's what you use your paper towel for. Sometimes I like prop some towels up on one side so it kind of angles down like that. And every once in a while you can kind of pick up a brush, swirl around the paper towel, see if there's any water still coming out. I mean you can feel when they're dry but that's just a way to kind of get some excess water that's on that edge there. So you'll just leave it like this. Because you're not using like a cleaning solution that you would buy in the store, it does take a long time to dry. If I do it like at night, I find that the brushes really aren't dry until like the next day, like sometimes not even in the morning, maybe even later. But if I do it like in the afternoon, by the next morning they're definitely dry. So and face brushes take longer than eye brushes and sponges take the longest of all which is why I start with them kind of also I really hate washing them so so why. for a tool like an eyelash curler you you're not gonna wash this in the olive oil and dish soap like you would the brushes sometimes what I'll do is because it kind of gets mascara gunky around here so I'll take like a Clorox wipe something disinfecting and I'll make sure I get the pad right here and also the little curve part that goes on your eyelid and I mean if you want to do this part too that's fine but that way you can get all the mascara chunks off and it'll you can use it better and it'll be cleaner on your eyelashes so you can do that. <laughs>